Okay, so why is Haskell awesome? Uh, what makes the properties of functional programming so useful? Uh, now, in my other video, uh, I explained uh, how to write your very first Haskell program. However, I didn't delve into the uh, the concepts very much. So hopefully this video will uh, aim to explain these concepts you see on the screen here. Um, there are many differences between uh, imperative languages like C, Java, and Python, where the computer is told to perform a sequence of actions uh, explicitly, um, as opposed to functional languages where it evaluates expressions instead. Uh, it's told how to do something, not what to do. Okay, so the first difference is abstraction. Uh, what does this mean exactly? Uh, so I'll, I'll explain this in, uh, in an example. Uh, so if you take this for loop uh, in C, just here, um, you can see that uh, the act of incrementing K is, is abstracted away from you. Okay, you don't need to worry about that uh, in this for loop. Uh, so what, what both of these functions actually do here in both the C and Haskell implementation is, is just implement the factorial function. That's all it's doing. Um, so, as you can see, you don't need to worry about incrementing the counter, it's already done. So, standard libraries, uh, like, which is, should be contained in uh, one of these uh, libraries here, uh, contain the functions for the for loop, which allow for abstraction. So, if you look at this same program in Haskell, you can definitely see a remarkable difference. The task of sequencing is removed. So all I've told the computer to do here is to evaluate this expression uh, instead of uh, give it explicit statements like over here in the C program. The task of sequencing in Haskell is gone. This level of abstraction uh, allows for very elegant solutions, especially if your program uh, is very mathematical in nature. For example, this factorial function right here. Uh, at this point, it's perfectly fine not to understand uh, this Haskell code that you see here. It'll be covered uh, later in uh, the upcoming videos. But surely by just looking at it, you can appreciate the simplicity that uh, the Haskell version offers. Next up is side effects. In Haskell, when performing computations, uh, there are absolutely no side effects whatsoever. Uh, this is because everything in Haskell is done through functions. And the result of the function is fully dependent on its arguments and its arguments alone. Now, there are functions in C and Java that allow you to generate random integers or floats. Uh, these functions will almost always give you a different result all the time. It's a bit different in functional languages, though. In Haskell, if you give a function a bunch of arguments over and over again, you get exactly the same results every time, period. There are, of course, ways to generate random numbers in Haskell, uh, but this results in the function being impure, which basically means that this function can return a different result every time. But in general, Haskell encourages the use of pure functions because seeing the state um, and seeing transparency in the functions is generally a good thing. So when functions return the same thing in every instance, it cuts out a lot of work in debugging, which is a huge advantage. Haskell is also lazy. Yes, generally that's a good thing. Uh, all this means is nothing is computed unless it has to be computed. So for example, I could define an infinite list of prime numbers and not a single number needs to be computed uh, as, as of yet. So if I wrote a function that needed, say, the first five elements of this list, then only the first five elements are computed and returned. It doesn't worry about the rest allowing for some very elegant solutions indeed. Uh, next up, Haskell is strongly typed, or strong typed. Uh, all this means is that there's no mix and matching between different types, like converting an integer to a double, or from a double to an integer. Uh, you don't need to specify a type as well. Haskell will do it for you automatically. So the biggest advantage of strong typing is that bug finding is moved from runtime to compile time, which is a really big advantage. You want to find bugs before you run them. Speed-wise, Haskell may suffer in uh, some situations compared to C. For example, impl implementing a, a really basic uh, quicksort algorithm. But the trade-off works both ways. So you'll develop the Haskell version probably about 
10 times faster than you know developing it in C because human time is, is more valuable than CPU time or processing time. So Haskell definitely allows for very elegant solutions, saving a lot of time writing it. But if you were to spend a lot more time writing it in C and you know it takes a bit longer, they'll, it's, it's really up to you how much you know what sort of trade-off you're after. but the Haskell code is, would be easier to read anyway. Uh, so uh, there are a bunch of reasons why this language is particularly awesome. Uh, abstraction, there's no side effects, it's lazy, it's strongly typed, the bugs are minimized, but put simply, uh, the language is elegant. Hope this helped. Thanks.